Hey, it's the Dan Wilson and Tokyo podcast, your one stop podcast for everything Japan and Japanese culture. Hey! Kind of. Yo, how's it going? Today, I got a special guest, Saku Yanagawa. Uh, I'm Saku.、Um, I'm a stand up comedian based in Chicago. So I have done stand up for 11 years in English. <laughs> Shit. 11 years, that's, that's my senpai, yo. Oh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah so dog. I, I, gotta, I gotta treat you for sure.、Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yo, Japanese culture,、uh, the older person or、mm-hmm. the person that has like superiority usually pays for the beers. Yeah, yeah. also for everything, right? Yeah, yeah fucking that's everything. That's crazy, yeah. But I'm, luckily, I'm in the States, so you know, age is just a number, but、uh, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for real, dude. Yo,、yeah. Japanese people love to. <laughs> Put emphasis on age. Yeah, that's true. Like, you know, our first conversation is,、um, what's your name? And how old are you? Yeah. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Like, I was, I was、uh, before we started filming this podcast,、uh-huh. I was just telling Saku, like, how, I mean, he, he knows the entertainment industry in Japan,、yeah. of course, but like,、um, how, as a comedian in Japan, when you like, <laughs> Go introduce yourself、yeah. to other comedians. You say, like, your, your comedian name. So, like, mine's like Rabbit Beach,、uh-huh. is like Daniel. And then I say, like, the company I'm assigned to, like, <laughs> Watanabe Entertainment.、Yeah. And then I say, my fucking how many years? Yeah. Like, seventh year. <laughs> even, though, even though I didn't ask her, right? Even yeah, though, I didn't ask her. I didn't ask you. <laughs> In America, how many, I don't know, comedians' agencies do you know? Like, who belonged to this company? Who belonged to this company? I don't know anything about it, even though I'm in the scene for 11 years. Zero. <laughs> zero, right? Fucking yeah, yeah. zero, dude. <laughs> I don't even know, like, Dave Chappelle's agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.、Right? I, because I, I was thinking about that. I was like, yo, I wonder, like, who Bill Burr signed to. <laughs> yeah, Japan loves it. But, yeah,、uh, that's crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, it's. But same as, like, businessmen in Japan, right? They o- always introduce themselves. With company's name, for example. Oh,、like、really? Mitsubishi Shoji's, like Saku. They, <sighs> yeah, right? And they always ask, like, hey,、um, when, when did you enter the company? Uh huh,、oh, I see. 1994 or something like that. Yo, and I, I like how <laughs> Japanese people、uh, <laughs> hand you the business card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? They,、uh, they like, yo, they get like the best posture. Yeah, that's true. And they hold the, the business card with like both hands. Yeah, also like the, the, there's a kind of best part to grab. Oh, shit, I didn't know that. Where? <laughs> like at the bottom. Uh huh. But、uh, they have to, they, they cannot hide the names of company. Oh. So that, you know, <laughs> people can read that shit. I、yeah. see. <laughs> so you kind of hold it on the corners、yeah. and show like. Yeah, yeah. probably college t e a c h them. Oh, in, word. In the, I don't know, like my college is not that, <laughs> that kind of. College, so、uh-huh. they didn't teach me, but、uh, uh-huh. I should have learned. Ah,、uh, okay. But yo, you were, you were saying, what, what's, what college did you go to in Japan? <laughs> Osaka University, actually, because, you know, I studied hard. Is that, yo, is that, I can't tell if you're joking or not. Is that, because I don't know、yeah. any, I don't know I really, the, the、yeah. rankings of schools in Japan.、Mm-hmm. I just know, like, Tokyo University. That's the only one I know. Yeah, this is the best university, like Harvard. Okay, okay. What about Osaka University? Honestly, the third. Get the fuck out of here, for real? Yeah, Kyoto is the second. Yeah. Then Osaka is the third. Are you guys sh- are、so, you sure? Yeah, yeah, I can say I'm okay, from like、okay. Princeton. Yeah. Woo! Oh, it's, I- if it's, it's Ivy League. Yeah, yeah. It's Japanese yeah, Ivy、true. League. Yeah, that's true. Also, like,、uh, it's national university, so、uh-huh. there's no fraternity and there's no, like, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so my parents are not rich, but, you know. Oh, okay, okay. I could get in because. I studied hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when I was 19, I had no girlfriend at that time, you know? Uh huh. You, got、yeah. to, you had some time on your hands? Yeah, that's true. Where, yeah. Where? <laughs> Yo,、uh, you're a baseball player too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, what's, what's going on with that? Like, what's,、uh, what's I, that story? I don't know. Like, I played baseball like, in a national team, you know, when I was 18. Japan's? Yeah. Under, under 18. And,、uh, yeah. Somehow it's,、oh, I was、shit. good. My dad was a baseball coach, like, strict. Strict baseball coach. So、oh, okay. When I was 12 years old, I moved to Tokyo by myself and I、uh, was in the、like, dormitory to focus on baseball. Oh. Yeah.、Um, as, you, as, as you know, like Japanese high school baseball, it's so intense. Yeah, that、like、Koshian shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Like college football. Uh huh. Right? Yeah, yeah, in okay. In America. So, yeah, then I wanted to be like baseball player, but 
almost like a MLB player. I wanted to be an MLB guy, uh-huh. but <laughs> I couldn't do it be- because of my elbow injury. Also, like I didn't care about baseball at that time anymore. So um, I I entered the Osaka University after studying hard. Uh huh. Then my major is music, and uh, I was watching really? Warate Korate, like Japanese. Like comedy show. Uh huh. Yeah. It was about um, Japanese stand-up comedian based in New York. Oh shit! And I was, I was like, oh, he's so cool. So I flew to New York next day, skipping, sp- skipping the class. Oh, that's crazy, right? Yo, that's sick. That was the first time to go to the airport without any ticket. So oh, you, oh shit! I visited every single con- counter. Uh huh. Then I found a cheapest t- ticket. In Air, Ch- Air China, <laughs> I flew to Beijing, but my they, they <laughs> let Japanese people on Air China. I mean, I was the only one, but I don't know. Like, <laughs> You're the only to one me, I... all of Asian people look the same to me. Yeah. Oh, word, word. I, oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, word, word. Yeah. Then, um, yeah, it it took seventy two hours to arrive in New York. Oh, okay. Because you know my airplane got canceled in Beijing. Oh shit! I have to stay in Beijing before oh, New York. Shit. Then, then oh, shit. I visited all of, like open mics in New York. Okay. Then yeah, I performed and somehow I got found by um, visiting comedian from Chicago, Second City. So. Oh, and then he was like, "Yo, yeah. come to come to Chicago." Yeah. And then I flew to Chicago next day. Then I did my. First open mic in Chicago, uh-huh. and I fell in love with Chicago's comedy scene. Dude, I uh, I don't know if I've been to Chicago. Really? Yeah, I've played like because I used to play soccer, uh-huh. and I remember just playing like a team from Chicago. I can't remember if I went there and played, but <laughs> um, I was kind of surprised. Yeah. It was like it was like all Guidos for some. Do you know what a Guido is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, word. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was playing a, a New Jersey team. I don't know what happened, but yeah, I mean, they all had that like Pauly D cut. That, that's my only that image. That's the only of, memory of Chicago. That's my only memory. <laughs> playing, really. playing, playing a soccer, soccer team full of Pauly D's. In some way, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's all... yeah, you should come to Chicago. Chicago has a lot of you know great comedy clubs and great comedians. Dude, awesome. And you were, you were. Uh, just performing here in Japan, you were like emceeing some like big shit, dude. Yeah, what Fuji Rock Festival? Every Fuji year? Rock Festival, shit. That's crazy this year. Like, oh, I know organizer very well, and the organizer Masa uh-huh. Hidaka, uh-huh. <laughs> he asked me to go to Foo Fighters Green Room to to say some jokes to make Dave Grohl laugh. Yeah. Then I had to say something. Yeah. Uh huh. He he asked me like, hey, where did you go? Like, where did you for the tour yeah, recently? Yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, Iowa, blah blah blah. Uh-huh. So the the whitest crowd crowd I've ever seen. I felt like I was in a Mumford and Sons concert. So. <laughs> there you go. And he loved it, and there you uh, go. There he you said go. I can belong to the Foo Fighters. Finally, I can join. <laughs> so yeah. sick. That was the best compliment I've ever had. Dude, um, <laughs> I uh, last night. Uh huh. I was drinking with my friend uh-huh. and I don't have, I didn't have a credit card. Oh yeah. And she put me on her Apple like family. <laughs> right. So now I had Apple music. Oh yeah. So I was taking a <laughs> shit this morning and listening to hero by Foo oh, Fighters. Wow. Here comes my hero. And I was just it's dropping. It's like she's your hero, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. So I was a big fan of Neil Vonner. So, you know, ah. that was super, super like, you know, crazy moment. I forget that he was the fucking drummer, drummer yeah. for <laughs> fucking Nirvana. Yeah, that's that's wild. I still remember the you know the second album like Swimming Baby for Amy, Amy Ka- Cash, right? Yeah, there's like a there's like a dollar in the pool or some yeah, shit, right? Yeah, that that baby sued Nirvana finally. You know that? <laughs> no, it's fucking child porn. Get out of here! <laughs> yeah, right. How old is that kid now? Definitely yeah. older than we are. Really? Almost like 40, I guess, yeah. Oh, and he was like... Yeah. That's that's my baby penis. Yeah, he's showing... You're putting on that CD. That's true, but bigger than mine, at least. I, dude, I mean, <laughs> mid-February? Uh-huh. It's like same size as mine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 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 I know. Dude, yeah. what I want to know is, where was that kid's parents? I mean, like, they met the producer of the album in a party. <laughs> okay. And then, and the producer said, oh, he... He must be good for the art, ja- art, art work. <laughs> that no, baby's baby, that yeah. baby's getting more work than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn. That's tr- that's crazy, right? Just like yo, uh, 
We should wait. What was a baby doing at the party? <laughs> you should use yeah, this yeah. baby. It was inspiration for the producer. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And it did it did it win the lawsuit? Like, did it get money uh, for that shit? <laughs> Obviously, he fucking lost. Yeah. Okay. Nirvana won. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> child porn. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. That's crazy, huh? Dude, uh, I saw on your Instagram, mm-hmm. um, what the fuck you doing at a jazz club? Um, what, was you doing stand up there? I, yeah, I guess because you know there's a jazz club called Cotton Club in, yeah. in Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. As far as I know, that club is the closest environment to American stand up comedy club. I guess. Oh, cool. Because people can drink and right. you know, people can eat, drink, and watch entertainment. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I've been talking to the booker and the manager. Uh huh. Um, about you know performing over there and they started booking me uh last year this year i did a <laughs> mainly crowd work because japanese o- ori yeah yeah don't do crowd work that much right yeah like, do- bepin-san, bepin-san, uh, it's not like a conversational right mm, so so yeah, Have yeah. You asked the like a job like occupation or like yeah. a, <laughs> to the, the crowd before yeah so um mm-hmm. what's kind of cool that saku's talking about is this is like one of the like m- kind of differences whether it's yeah. good or bad with like the japanese comedy thing i feel like is the japanese like manzai and shit that mm-hmm. i do like the japanese stand up it's different but mm-hmm. you know essentially um it's almost like like a performance that the audience 100% like doesn't interact with it's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're like almost watching like i don't want to say like obedient i don't know like yeah it's but like they, you're... They, they make noise for sure right mm-hmm. they're not like passive but they they don't try to at least uh get up on stage and you know talk some t- yeah. yo yo recently i've been uh <laughs> i've been uh performing at asakusa uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and roku storito like oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, what yeah. street mm-hmm. and dude there's these old japanese dudes that probably been drinking since like 10 a.m with the one cup <laughs> the one cup yeah, yeah, yeah. sake yeah. and yo they got like no teeth oh, shit. and they sometimes or they'll like be sitting in the back oh. and just like talking shit while oh, I'm doing wow. manzai. So that's I, recently I missed it. Yeah, yeah, that's I've been fun. It. That's like the only crowd work or interaction in the Japanese comedy world that I've had experience with. Yeah, you know that not crowd work, but you know like having some interaction with a. Yeah, I like to. I mean, you know, I like to be on the show just because, you know, we are like exchange students both, right? You come to <laughs> Japan to do comedy in Japanese. And in my case, I come I come to the States to do comedy in English, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. honestly, it's really difficult to do comedy in second language. Yep. 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 Especially in, a, you know, in a foreign country. Yeah, man. Not because of just language, but because of like, you know, the co- sense of humor uh-huh. is totally different. And uh-huh. I know. The comedy style is totally different. Yeah. That's why, you know, it's so fun. Yeah, it, it really is fun. And, like, what's kind of cool that I still do like about it, because obviously, you know, I'm sure people ask you, too, is, like, mm-hmm. oh, what, like, what's the difference between, like, <laughs> yeah. like, Amer- like American comedy and Japanese comedy? Yeah. I mean, that's, like, the common question. I understand, but... Yeah. Um, I'm tired of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yo, like, one cool thing, though, is... uh. Dude, a lot of the like techniques are really similar. Oh same. yeah, that's true. That's the true. the information and like the culture, of course, is like mm-hmm. miles apart. But the actual like technique to get the laugh, I'm like, oh, that's like pretty much the same. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. I realize kind of interesting thing. For example, like comedy term is totally different. Mm. Even though, like you know, it the meaning is the same actually, but uh, the. Mm. How to say is totally different. For example, mm-hmm. like uh, we have a uh, uh, delivery mm-hmm. and punch, right? Mm-hmm. Like in Japanese, furi. Set up. And ochi. Yeah, right? pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But ochi in Japanese just means like, you know. Oh, ochi, yeah, to go uh, down. To yeah, go down, ochi, right? right yeah. But in English, like a punch, uh-huh. right? We have to punch the audience, right? Yeah, yeah, also, yeah. Also, like, yeah. I don't know. When we, that's interesting, yeah. Like, Or sometimes it's a kicker. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, sometimes you kick them too. <laughs> And making people laugh in Japanese is, uh, what I? Ukeru desho. Ah, ukeru. 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 Yeah. Making people laugh so uh, hard is ukeru. Ukeru. Uketa. In, uketa. Yeah. In English, kill. Yeah, you killed Destroy. it. Destroy. Yeah, he right? fucking murdered it. Right, murdered. That's yeah. why in America, I guess we have to punch 
and kill Ke- them. <laughs> yeah, I see. Ah, in, in, interesting. In Japanese, ukeru just means like, you know, get. Yeah, we, we, we received a laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why when I went to America for the first time, I thought American audience are less obedient than Japanese, more aggressive. Mm-hmm. And I mean, mm-hmm. I, I would say like comedians and um, audience are kind of equal. Yeah. Even like if they don't like me, they can leave mm-hmm. and they can order the cocktail. Yeah. And they can go to the bathroom during yeah, my yeah, set. Yeah. That's why, you know, in Japan, people sh- like, are so nice. Audience are so nice. Even though we are bombing, they just, you know, sit and yeah. relax and yeah. not laugh. And by the way, bombing in Japanese is to like slip Spit. and fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spit. Subeta. Yeah, slip yeah, and fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? But um, yeah. dude, what's what's funny about that whole culture uh-huh. is, uh, dude, my first year doing manzai, yeah. my first ever show at Watanabe in like Omote Sando, uh-huh. um, I fucking ordered. They used to serve beer back there. Oh yeah, on the, at the counter, which is kind of rare for yeah, Japanese yeah. comedy shows. Um, I fucking ordered a beer. Oh, uh-huh. I I didn't know the rules yet. I don't know, like what was it? Like, well, the Japanese, like you, you don't drink and do comedy in Japan. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's that's like even a, like I know I can imagine, for example, rakugo. Ah, uh, okay. Like a traditional comedian uh-huh. not drink, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah. But even like you know, manzai. Yeah, dude. It's like. It's kind of it's looked down upon for sure. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just you just don't drink when you're performing <laughs> that's true i mean you know there's of course there's some tv shows that mm-hmm, incorporate yeah, yeah. drinking but uh yeah dude i i was just like being that like stereotypical like american like and also like i got in trouble for ordering a beer <laughs> like my man manager or, like my eye cut that my my comedy partner mm-hmm. was like actually pretty mad like yo what the fuck are you doing like just ordering beers i like had it in my hand i was like wait what and they're like yo we're about to do manzai and shit i was like oh i can't drink <laughs> and then my homeboy that was american came to watch my first set oh yeah and while i'm getting yelled at he walks up with two beers he's like and he hands me one he's like yo i got you a that's, beer that's good. yeah but honestly when i went to america for the first time to do comedy i got surprised mm-hmm. i still remember like i got surprised many comedian brought beer to the stage yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. do you do you drink when you yeah when honestly you perform? yeah because um every single comedy club give us a check after the show right uh-huh. yeah then um you know the price in america is super super in- Increasing, right? Uh huh. Yeah. And then everything is so expensive. The gosh darn inflation. That's true. Here, yeah. Joe Biden. <laughs> Let's God, go, Brandon. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, all um, the Mexicans <laughs> taking their jobs. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you know. <laughs> but yeah. But you know, um, our like our guarantee on income mm-hmm. doesn't increase, honestly. Okay. So I had to negotiate mm. to the club manager. Mm-hmm. Then usually we got a two free drink tickets. But <laughs> yeah. I changed four drink tickets finally. There we go. So I There I, we go. Especially in the weekend, I have uh, three shows at Laugh Factory. Uh-huh. So it means I can get 12 free drinks. I knew Japanese people were good at math. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I'm from Osaka University. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So, right. you know, I get I you know, I get up on stage after fucked up. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's fine. But I you know, somehow I'm not like super super fucked up guy even mm-hmm. though I drink 12 drinks. Mm-hmm. So Dude, um damn, 12 drinks? Jesus. Yeah, I mean, yeah, vodka cranberry. Ooh, okay. Fruitiest drink the I've ever had. Vodka yeah. cranberries. Vodka cran, yeah. <laughs> Yo, um, actually, when we first went drinking, yeah, yeah. um, you took me to that music bar. Yeah, your, yeah, your yeah. homie Beat Cafe. Runs. I used to work Beat, there. Yeah. Beat Cafe. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I was I was off the sauce for a year. I was. You I was tr- yeah, you were sober. I was. Time, I was right? being disciplined. Yeah. I ordered a cranberry juice. <laughs> oh yeah, I still remember. I remember yeah. you were like, "What are you like, diuretic or some yeah. shit?" Like you said <laughs> yeah. something. You were like, yeah, yeah, "You got yeah. like a bladder problem or something." <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. A, yeah. I'm afraid of diabetes. Yeah, and then uh, yeah. I mean, that's it's a you know you're living in America now. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Because they like, got how the, many like guests do you have so far from like America? Like people who live in America for this show. You're the first, baby. Oh yeah, no, like only few Japanese comedian does podcast too. Yo, the podcast is so new in Japan. It's mm-hmm. almost like J- Japanese people don't do it yet. They do like the. Like radio shit, like Daji Toku or something like that. Oh, I, f- I forget. Another platform. Stando FM. 
Okay. It's, it's like two apps that a lot of Japanese comedians use. But um, yeah, video podcasts mm-hmm. actually haven't hit in Japan yet. Oh, so, so I'm gonna be the. I'm I'm trying to pioneer, I'm, right? yeah I'm trying to hop on that with my Rabbit Beach team my, oh, my that's Japanese yeah, I comedy watched team it, yeah but uh it's places I mean you've seen how small it is in here yeah like I mean three fucking adults yeah honestly when I saw the clip I thought the room was much bigger <laughs> thanks size, yeah. yeah 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 I I do my best with the lighting and shit <laughs> yeah me and Saku could reach out of the of the screen yeah, and touch surreal. both walls yeah 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 yeah. That's, That's this is the size of my uh, living <laughs> bed r- kitchen room. But yeah, I mean, it's it's cozy, <laughs> nice. <laughs> One good thing about the small thing I realized is like summertime and wintertime. Whenever I'm trying to use the uh, cooler, like summertime right now, dude, this little box gets cooled down in like two minutes. Oh, that's Th- good. Yeah. That's the best part about living in a fucking little box. Also, but. like uh, after getting fucked up, mm-hmm. it's easy to. Go to fridge, fridge from the bed. Yeah, just I, one step. I could army crawl yeah, from yeah. my bed. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, true, exactly. Yeah. Word, word, word. My knees, you know. I don't know. Like I've, I've gained a lot of weight in America. More than like right now, mm-hmm. I'm 220 pounds. Mm-hmm. So my knees and all of all of joints mm-hmm. start like like making noise. Oh, oh, oh that's that squeaky shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because when, when we were setting up the podcast, yeah. uh, Saku was looking around for a chair. He's like, where? where? <laughs> yeah. and I was like, oh, this shit's on the ground, baby. Yeah. He's like, oh. I don't know how to say in English, but uh, I, I can't do, do this way of like sitting. See, I grew up calling that Indian style. <laughs> Indian style. But now okay, all these yeah. fucking people like, yeah, Indians, in, like, you know. Yeah, like cultural appropriation. But uh, actually, I'm part Indian. Oh, so yeah. I I could say that's we call that Indian style. Oh, so probably you still can do like Indian accent on your set. Like <laughs> sometimes I <laughs> I saw down there by the river. Some, Why do you whisper? Because yo yo a Native Americans <laughs> Indians yo they like they talk like this. I got banned from the oh. from the liquor store, and they have like a little whistle like yeah, when they talk. Oh, yeah. They're like. Uh, but, so, uh, so is it, what what's ethnicity you said? Like you part of Native American? Oh yeah yeah yeah. And so Indian, uh, right? Indian? yeah yeah. So wow. I got Indian blood. Yo, I gotta do one break on this podcast because yep. my fucking camera can only oh, take. Also, my knees are. Yeah yeah yeah. Hurting. Let's <laughs> let's uh take one break and <laughs> yeah. Saku's gonna stretch. Yep. Oh yeah <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. Hey, yeah, we're back. Um, yeah. <laughs> the fuck were we talking about? <laughs> I forgot. Um, MILF? Talking about MILFs? No, <laughs> no. we were talking about MILFs <laughs> with the, when the cameras were off, <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. That's all we talked about during this commercial break is uh, MILFs. Yeah. How, how about um, Saku just taught me this one. He taught me MILF in Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Jukujo. It means like ripe. I don't know how R- riped yeah riped women R- ripen riping yeah. women yeah. yeah no 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 not 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 raping women <laughs> no, just no, say no. raping women no, no no my pronunciation is right <laughs> riping right 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 ripened yeah 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 i, I, I know i've seen so many comedians got canceled after saying raping joke on open mic i'm yeah. so happy about that yeah that's not a not a good joke <laughs> but uh like we're so, so ripe as in like yeah. the fruit yeah. Is like the best ripen. I don't even know how to use Aging? this word. Yeah, I don't. I've never used the, the word the ripe. Uh, yeah, right. Like the, this fruit is ripe. I guess that's how you use it. But uh, yeah. but honestly, like I met a Chinese friend, mm-hmm. and uh, as you know, like there's no like cuss word in Japanese, basically, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I asked like about like Chinese, mm-hmm. and they said the hardest, like I mean, most aggressive cast word in Chinese language mm-hmm. is I'm gonna rape all of your 18 generations of your ancestors <laughs> that's such a big family tree I got shocked 18, 18 you're gonna rape 18 generations. generations of all of my ancestors like how <laughs> how many people do they have to do <laughs> yo dude that's a busy weekend <laughs> that, yeah. that is, yo 
Definitely oh, more dude. than 2,000, right? I don't know if I got... Even the Chinese situation, like one kid in the family, but still, there's a lot of, like, big, big, big family trees. Yeah, dude. I, that's a lot of preparation. Like, yeah. I gotta, I gotta buy, like, a box of Viagra. <laughs> okay. I can't keep it up. After, after, like, raping two generations i'm probably like i don't i'm i'm yeah i'm not hardened i gotta like keep this going i gotta eat some viagra first of all i have to do ancestor.com first <laughs> yeah, i gotta... don't know like 18th generation of my family yo that's that's <laughs> yeah chinese language it's so that's funny, wild man. yeah i love it <laughs> i wonder why 18 i wonder if that's a special <laughs> yeah, no, special number yeah yeah in, like ancient chinese system or like something the 19th like generation like like yeah. like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh it didn't get me yo let me mm -hmm. do before we get too deep into yeah, uh yeah. other topics uh -huh. um let me do the sponsored reads oh, real yeah. quick and uh, i call my local uh salary man salary man satosh <laughs> hey you're up don't get nervous time to do the sponsored reads oh <laughs> 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 Saruba Movers. Moving across the US, ready to move out of the fading nation that is America and into a country that has its shit together, like Japan. Oh, <laughs> you fucking said it though. Call Saruba Movers today. We are your international and nationwide moving company. We are located in Texas. Oh, Texas! Oh, everything bigger in Texas. Um, we take truck and make monster truck. Um, we take <laughs> oh, small, oh, tiny Japanese penis and make a big Texas penis. Everything bigger in Texas. But can handle any move across the globe. Call 512-596-9696 today to get your moving quote started. Or visit us at sarubamovers.com slash 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 quote and mention promo code Daniel-san <laughs> D-A-N-I-E-L-S-A-N to get 5% off your move today. 5%?! S savings is totemo sugoi desu ne! Hai! Rashai masu! Futatsume no sponsor lead ikimasu. Okay, ikko. Break chimps. <laughs> Fast, easy, and affordable break repair. Break chimps, break repair, specialize in break repair, break pads, rotors, and calipers. Stop waiting in line for hours while the shop plays catch up. No hustle. Straight forward pricing that's affordable and break repair service you're going to rub. We can service your brakes in as little as 30 minutes. 30 minutes? That is uh, 30 times longer than my longest love making session. <laughs> you Americans are so bad at uh, mathematics. I explain. I last uh, one minute uh, in bed. Uh. We are that fast. Uh. Call 512 525 8950 or visit us at uh, breakchimps.com. Hi. Arigato gozaimashita. Wow, good good job, Satoshi. Yeah. Yeah, that's our uh Yeah, honestly, I'm ready for you to be canceled. <laughs> that's <laughs> Yo, it, it, it's Satoshi, yeah. man. He, he's working yeah, he's yeah. he's working on his English. Satoshi's gone. Satoshi's gone, I guess. Yeah, dude. He's But getting, seriously, like he's, um, he's canceled for sure. I love your accent, honestly, but still much better than my <laughs> English. <laughs> Sometimes you say line, right? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was like, I cannot pronounce some words, you know. Yeah, um, that's that's really like. Did you, have you ever taught English? Me? To Japanese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've taught I've taught some English to some Japanese people for sure. Like, what was the biggest problem with like English speakers in Japan in, in Japan? Ah, uh, yo. Like in in terms of pronunciation. Ah, uh, okay, okay. L L's and R's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, I still suffering. <laughs> I'm suffering. Yeah, but I don't like I cannot even tell like L and Earl even like my ears. Oh, for real? Yeah, sometimes. Yo, but actually uh Japanese. Mm -hmm. Japanese um 
the few words that I've had a tough time with are the like dio and dios. Oh, the, the, those sounds don't exist in the English. Dio, dio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it would like if we say dio, it's like Ryu. Oh yeah 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 like uh like you ri- spell Rio R Y U right yeah R Y U is D U yeah but in English like we don't have that sound so it's like like Ryu that's why you know my friend uh his name is Ryosuke R Y O S U K uh huh um you know he named himself Rio in America yeah R I O like yeah. Spanish name way easier yeah Rio yeah yeah, yeah 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 that makes sense exactly How about Saku it's easy. S-A-K-U? Saku? Yeah, S-A-K-U? yeah, yeah that, that one's okay. easy. Yeah. I gotta thank my parents. Yeah. What's your kanji? Uh, yo, so yo, yeah. yo, in Japan, people like between yeah. Japanese people, they always ask this because um, mm-hmm. kanji, right? It all has like a meaning. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Because like two people can have the same name, mm-hmm. but different kanjis, kanji, right? Yeah. So what's what's Saku? Saku just, uh, I mean, probably you've never seen that kanji before. But uh, I can't read any kanji. Okay, but- <laughs> so it's easy. So it means the first day and. First moon, because I'm the firstborn son in my family. I'm, uh-huh. the, I'm the youngest kid in my family, though. Okay. I have three sisters. I have three jukujo in my family. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, word, yeah. Uh, riping, riping, <laughs> <laughs> riping woman. Yeah. No. It's, it's really, I'm so careful to say that word. Riping, right? It's starting from Earl. Yeah, it's R I, right? Riping. Riping. Yeah, yeah. yeah riping yeah. women. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's right. right. It's, and you don't ripe women. Yeah. Women that are ripe. Like it's like a fine wine. The older they get, That's like true, the yeah. you know, they, the the better. older the better for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milfs, milfs are awesome. And Japan, dude, mm-hmm. Japan's it's got heaven. some milfs. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Juku, jo? Ju, jukujo, mm-hmm. jukujo. That's right. Yeah, dude. Um, I wanted to ask you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got any spots in Japan? Oh yeah. That are kind of your spots. No, I'm not asking like, you know, them like touristy type of shits, but mm-hmm. like somewhere where you're like, yo, any recommendations? Actually, um, we already talked about like Beat Cafe, the bar we met in Shibuya. This bar is really cool, but uh, I have another one. Okay. It's kind of wine bar. Okay. We can drink shit. wine. We can like eat like tapas and shit. Yeah. Spanish? Yeah, Mexican? Spanish, Spanish yeah. right? And, and, and uh, yeah, French based. Ooh. And actually, um, there are 33 locations in Tokyo. What the fuck? Because the owner opened up the first restaurant in Nakano. Okay, yeah. It's like yeah. a really casual place, like like a glass of wine. It costs like five hundred yen. Like oh shit, yeah. that's like Caesarea prices. That's true. Then the word. quality is fucking amazing. Okay, and they, word. You know, yeah, uh, it's called it Vivo B I D O. It's also hard to pronounce for me. <laughs> Vivo. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Say that again. Vivo. Vivo. V- Vivo. Vivo Daily Stand. Vivo Daily Stand. Is that V-I-V-O? Yeah. Vivo Daily Stand. Huh, shit. I, I mean... Th- th- that's kind of crazy. I've been out here nine years, and if they got 33 fucking locations, you'd think I'd run into one by, like, chance. Yeah. I, I haven't... Word. Yeah. Uh, and uh, actually, that, that place... In, in that place, I drank my first alcohol when I was 20. Oh. And also, I made um English, like, manual <laughs> for for, like, a staff members for oh. example when foreigner comes oh you made the men like yeah the... word, word word yeah sick i'm gonna go check for any fucking yeah. errors what, what do you order what do you order huh what do you order white devil <laughs> <laughs> i made that shit <laughs> yeah hurry up hurry up yeah <laughs> we need <laughs> no soup for you something like that Okay. I gotta, I gotta go check if there's any uh, mistakes on there. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of mistakes, so that they can pronounce. I see. So no R sound, no L sound, no V sound. I see, I see, yeah, I yeah, see. Yeah, so, yeah, so that everyone can understand. <laughs> Yo, in Japan, they got this phrase, uh, "honne" and "tatemae." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, "honne" is, I don't know, which one should we go first? Let's go "tatemae." Mm-hmm. "Tatemae" mm-hmm. is the face. That you show yeah. to the public? Is that correct? I guess so. Yeah, yeah that's a nice uh, tatemai yeah. face right there. Yeah. And your honne is like behind this <laughs> charade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is like how you really feel. Yeah, so basically, and yeah, they bitch about you behind your back. I do my best means I'm not going to do that shit. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, fuck you. Let's, Damn. Yeah, that's no. crazy. That's why, you know. If I were non-native speaker of Japanese, mm. I would be really, really afraid of like Japanese people. 
Yeah, and yo, uh, foreigners like myself uh-huh. don't realize that yet. A lot of them don't realize that. <laughs> yeah, that's the They're like, yo, Japanese people yeah. are the nicest. You, you guys are. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Japanese people are nice for sure. Don't get me wrong. They're nice. <laughs> but the fact that there is an actual word for like the tatemai, mm-hmm. the front, and like the hon, like that kind of, oh, very sneaky. Yeah, yeah I guess Very, so, very yeah. sneaky. I mean, they created ninjas. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's like pinnacle sneakiness. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Would a black guy. Uh-huh. In the ninja outfit, oh, he would yeah. be like completely invisible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, would they even give him a uniform? Nah, actually, let's not go there. I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting at this. <laughs> I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I was like, "All right." I was imagining like the ninja outfit. And I was yeah. Like, um, I was like a black ninja. Oh, but like a a girl, a kunoichi, a girl. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there would be no black ninja girls. They're way too oh. loud. I think, oh yeah. hell no! <laughs> They're trying to be all sneaky. Oh and shit. wow, so crazy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have one guest on the podcast, and I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> you bring it out in Misaku. <laughs> all that bad shit. Yeah, I'm ready to be canceled this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, hey. Yeah. Couple of. Couple of Asian guys saying how they feel. It's all good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. It's my tatemai though. Yeah. Oh, the tatemai. <laughs> See, look at that. You guys are so educational. Uh, but uh, yeah, yo, finish up ra- wrapping up this uh podcast. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah. Before that, yo, what's uh, where can people find you on the internet? Yeah. What's your uh, social media handles and shit? You can find me on Instagram, Saku Yanagawa. S A K U uh-huh. Y A N A G A W A. Yeah. Yanagawa. Word. What about uh? Is that, is that your main one, Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you, you can find me on TikTok, um, you know, Twitter, word, Facebook, word, word. yeah, anything, yeah. Nice. I'm not super, super active. I'm super lazy, but uh, mm. I post some great pictures about me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, no, dude, your Instagram. I like I like looking at the like, like the stand up crowd. Oh yeah. Like you like like performing like the venues and shit. I was like, yeah, it looks yeah. really cool. Especially because you have that rare thing where. You know, you perform in America and Japan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, which it's is kind of rare, right? Yeah, for sure. So it's so fun because the sense of humor is completely different, uh-huh. right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I performed in Africa, I performed in Europe, mm-hmm. Asia, and every single place has different sense of humor. Mm. And I think humor is really, really local, right? Some people try to compare like which is better, which is better, right? That's fucking bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. which is better and shit is like yeah. that's a no, silly question. That, yeah, it's nonsense, right? But uh, I think you know Japanese comedy like Owara is really, really funny mm-hmm. and American comedy is really funny. Mm-hmm. So th- that's it, right? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. uh shit man, I wish we could keep talking. That's true, yeah. Yeah, it's been like an hour i think this oh, is shit, this yeah. might be one of my longest episodes but sweet um yo thanks for coming thanks on thanks so, so much for having me i'm gonna come back for sure yeah dude yeah um when you want to come back and visit your country next year next yeah. year next summertime dude come fucking hang out come back on the podcast thanks so so much yeah all right thanks for listening guys peace out peace out <laughs>